여러분 안녕하십니까? 지금부터 전국 16개 시도교육청이 공동으로 주관하는 2012학년도 제2회 중학교 3학년 영어듣기 능력평가를 시작하겠습니다. 교실에 계시는 선생님들께서는 라디오의 음량을 알맞게 조절해 주시고 학생 여러분은 답안지에 반, 번호, 그리고 이름을 써넣으시기 바랍니다. 모든 문제는 한 번씩만 들려드리오니 잘 듣고 지시에 따라 물음에 답하시기 바랍니다. 이제 시작하겠습니다. 1번 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 선택할 마네킹 의상을 고르시오. We need to change the clothes on the mannequin in the display window. Yeah, you're right. Spring is coming soon. How about a skirt with a flower pattern? I like that. It would be better than pants for the upcoming season. Do you think a jacket will match the skirt? Sure. Any jacket would go well with it. Good. Let's put a scarf on the mannequin, too. That's a good idea. 2번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 방문한 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Excuse me, where can I find a Steve Jobs autobiography? I think they are in the biography section. I've already checked there, but I couldn't find any. Let me check. Sorry, they're sold out. When can I get one? Please come by next week. 3번. 다음 그림의 상황에 가장 적절한 대화를 고르시오. Number one. Which seat do you prefer? An aisle or a window seat? A window seat, please. Number two. Are you ready to order? Yes, a spaghetti with a chicken salad, please. Number three. Is there anything I can help you with? No, thanks. I'm just looking around. Number four. I'd like to send this box to Paris. All right. What's inside it? Number five. I'd like to get a refund for this watch. Could I see your receipt, please? 4번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 미술 숙제에 사용할 도구를 고르시오. Are you going to use a pencil for your drawing assignment? Yes. Why? Wouldn't that be boring? You're right. I think I need more colors. How about watercolors? Jesse, it'll take too long to dry. Well, what about crayons? Good idea. They come in a wide variety of colors. Okay, I'll use them. 5번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 직업으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, honey, what's up? Rebecca. I don't think I can go to the musical tomorrow. Why not? My surgery schedule has been changed. I have to operate at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, my! What should we do? How about Thursday afternoon? We can go after I see my patients. Great! Let me check and see if there are any tickets. 6번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 심정으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. I'm sorry, John. What do you mean, Jenny? 
I think I was much too upset last night at the party. No, it was my fault. I spilled coffee on your smartphone. I still think I shouldn't have reacted like that yesterday. Anybody would be upset in that situation. Tilbon. 다음을 듣고 두 사람의 대화가 어색한 것을 고르시오. Number one. Where did you get this cake recipe? I got it from the internet. Number two. Jane is really good at playing the piano. You're right. I wish I could play like her. Number three. Have you met our new math teacher? Thanks for helping me with my math homework. Number four. These brown shoes really look nice on you. Do you think so? I'll take them. Number five. We're having a party tonight. Can you come? I'm afraid I can't. I have a test tomorrow. 8번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 남자에게 전화한 이유로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mark? Oh, Mom, what's up? I'm sorry to call you so late, but the boiler isn't working. Mom, did you check the valve under the boiler? I don't know what you're talking about. Can you come over and check it? Okay, I'm coming. 9번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 담긴 의도로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. What are you going to do after school? I have to do a part-time job at the bookstore. Why? Mike and I are going to the K-pop concert. That sounds wonderful. Would you join us after finishing your work? I'm afraid not. It would be too late. 10번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불해야 할 금액을 고르시오. May I help you? One pack of popcorn and two bottles of orange juice, please. That's nine dollars. Do you have a movie ticket for today? Yes, I have two. Why? We can give you a one dollar discount for each ticket. Great. Here are the tickets. Okay. You'll get two dollars off. 11번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 대화하고 있는 장소로 가장 적절한 곳을 고르시오. Hello, sir. How can I help you? I made a reservation under the name of Kevin Baker. Let me see. Your room number is 705, and here is your key. Thank you. And I have to get up at 6 in the morning. I see. We'll set up a morning call at 6 a.m. Anything else? I need to rent a car for tomorrow. How can I contact a rental service? Let me get that information for you. 12번 다음을 듣고 해피 시리 투어스에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Welcome to Happy City Tours. I'm your guide, Cindy Carpenter. The bus will leave at 9 a.m. and the tour lasts for three hours. You can enjoy the best of London sights. You will visit the Tower of London, Big Ben and Westminster Abbey. At the end of the tour, We'll drop you off right here at the Double Tree Hotel. 
I hope all of you will enjoy the tour. When is the DNP soccer final match? It's already over. It was on March 20th. Oh, really? At Windsor Stadium again? Yes, the Duke Stars played against the State Bears. Who won the match? The Duke Stars. They won by two points. The score was 3-1. Hmm, who was the best? Jim Smith. I knew he would become the MVP. 14번 다음을 듣고 무엇에 관한 설명인지 고르시오. This is a kind of label made of black lines on white space. It is used to show information about a product. When you buy milk at the store, for example, the clerk will scan this on the package and the price will automatically come up. Nowadays, you can see this on almost all products. 15번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Oops, where's my passport? It's not in my bag. Calm down. Think carefully about where you put it. Well, I put it in my bag before I left my house. Then I took it out here to get the ticket. I remember that you went to a restaurant holding your passport. Oh, my goodness. I have to rush back to the restaurant. 16번 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 소풍 갈 날짜를 고르시오. Tom, today is your birthday. What do you want to do? Hmm, I'd like to go on a picnic with you and Dad. Not today, honey. Dad is busy this week. Why don't we go on a picnic next Saturday? But that's October 13th. Mom, I have a soccer game with my friends on that day. Okay. How about next Sunday? You mean October 14th? That sounds great. Congratulations on your 16th birthday, though we are having your party later. 17번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 다음이 수잔에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Tom happens to see his friend Susan looking at the bulletin board for a part-time job. Fortunately, Tom knows his aunt is looking for a babysitter for her baby. He also knows that Susan loves children. Tom wants to know if she's willing to babysit. In this situation, what would Tom say to Susan? 18번 대화를 듣고 남자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Peter, can you help me with the dishes? I think it's your turn today. I'm going to take out the trash. You wash the dishes and I'll take out the trash. Why? Because I cut my finger while cooking yesterday. Really? Okay, I'll wash the dishes then. You take out the trash. 19번 대화를 듣고 남자의 충고를 가장 잘 표현한 속담을 고르시오. Bill, I've been offered a chance to go to France as an exchange student, but I can't decide. 
Why not? You've always wanted to go abroad. But I'm not sure I can live far away from my family. Susan, an opportunity like this doesn't come every day. Yeah, I know, but. If I were you, I would take it. This could be the best chance you'll ever have. Maybe you're right. Morris, would you help me move this closet? Yes, Mom. Do you want to move it to the corner? Wait a second. Let me get a blanket. Why? The floor would be scratched without it. 수고하셨습니다. 이상으로 전국 16개 시도교육청이 공동으로 주관하는 2012학년도 제2회 전국중학교 3학년 영어듣기 능력평가를 마칩니다.